Hello everyone. Myself Yami Nakim. Today I am going to explain about how to install the Python. So Python is a very flexible, simple and easy to use language which is recommended by the various big giant companies. So if you want to download the Python, so from which website you can download that I am going to show you. So first of all, you just go to the official website of the Python, which is python.org. If you visit this website, you have the download option. So by default, you will get the recent download for the windows, which is a 3.10.5. You can look at this. If you want the older version, then you can click to the all releases or if appropriately we are looking for the windows, then we can click to the windows. So in case of Python, we have fundamental two different options in the release. So Python 3 release and Python 2 release. After year 2020, Python 2.7 uh, was not extended at all. Now we have 3.10, 3.x version is uh, very famous and it is the future of the Python. So we'll go with the Python 3.x. So rather than directly downloading this, if you want the older version of the Python, just scroll down. And if you are interested in 3.9.12, let's say, so you can use this. This is applicable on Windows uh, 8, 9, 10, 11 kind of thing. So it cannot be used on the Windows 7 or earlier if you have the Windows Vista or Windows XP. Okay, I hope most of people now using the Windows 8 and above. So it is recommended. Second thing, in the download section, we will get here different options like embedded, 3264 help file so which file we need to choose so you can choose the windows installer now again in the windows installer we have the two categories 32 bit is one category and 64 bit is another category so which one is to choose so for to understand this we need to check the system type so just go to the this pc you have or you just search here this pc and you look at this property you just click to this property so the machine configuration will be in front of you and in this you can check the system type if your system type is a 32 bit then you go for windows installer 32 bit if it is a 64 bit then you can go for the 64 bit so my operating system type is 64 bit operating system so yes guys, we are going to choose the 64-bit operating system. So here, uh, Windows installer I am going to select, which is the 64-bit. So I will click to the 64-bit. So downloading will get started. Yes. Already on the desktop, I have downloaded the 3.10.4 version. So if I want to install this, I can proceed further. But before going ahead blindly without checking either my machine has Python installed already or not, how we can post it. So simply I want to show you how to check Python is installed on your machine or not. So again go to the search option, type here Python. If you are getting this option Python 3.7 idle, it means Python 3.7 is installed on your machine. I'll click to this Python 3.7. So already I have removed it. Okay. So it is asking, do you want to delete the shortcut? So yes, I want to delete the shortcut. So older version of the Python I was having. Okay. This was, I will already removed. Hmm? But if I check the Python, Python, which I'm about to install, see 3.10, it is not installed. I'm not getting here. Hmm? Okay. Again, second option, if you want to check either on your machine, Python is installed or not, simply you just go to this command prompt, type here CMD, open this command prompt, you will get the black console window and here in the console, you need to type Python, you need to type Python. 
hit the enter if the shade of python appears here then on your machine python is installed now it is moving where it is moving to the microsoft store because currently i'm using microsoft edge browser i'm using microsoft browser that's why it is moving to microsoft store and it is asking from this store like in the mobile we have the play store here i'm having the microsoft store so it is asking to download using microsoft store and install it but there is no need guys actually i don't have the python installed on my machine so let's move ahead to install the python so i will just right click on this click to the open so it will initiate the process of installing this python 3.10.4 which is of 64 bit and step by step we'll see how to install this window will appear guys we have two options install now and customize installation as a beginner don't go for the customization directly don't click to the install now you need to check this unchecked block add python 3.10 part means using this check we are making this python available anywhere on the machine means right now if i go here and on the desktop if i create a folder we'll keep the name as it is new folder in this new folder if i want to access the python so i have opened this i will go to the address i will type here cmd means command prompt i want again i will get the command prompt and i will type the python once again in order to use the python if we try to access the python immediately python is not available and again it is asking you just go to the store install the python so that will be available so which is not expected means python is not available here as well so in order to make the python available anywhere on the machine anywhere in any directory we can say just check this add python 3.10 to path then we need to click this install now it will initiate the process of installation it will take a few minutes to install the packages executables and development libraries along with it and it will make the two options available to use it the one option is python shell interpreter same like a console command prompt and second one is an idle option where we can perform the scripting as well as we can perform the programming that we will explain let this process complete so i want to explain something about the python python is a very old language actually if we consider the year 2022 so almost 31 years python spent in the market 20th feb 1991 is an official birth date of the python guido van rossum who invented who who is a developer of a python who took an initiative to introduce this wonderful language as he was working on abc language he thought that there are certain limitations for abc language and then he decided to overcome those drawbacks those problems associated with the abc and we can create a such a language which will be composed of multiple options means he created a python in a such a way that python is a combination of procedural plus object oriented language means it takes some features from the c programming it takes the object oriented from the c++ it takes the modular programming from modular 3 okay and python is well known for scripting as well as programming and various features are there means python supports dynamic typing it is a simple and easy to understand it is a portable in nature okay and come totally what we can say about the python it is a very very flexible and it is a very beginner friendly and that's why it is a very popular most important reason is it is open source platform so the code is available it has a strong community support 
and because of it so many newcomers beginners are attracted towards this language that's the main reason okay guys so the setup is under progress now we'll wait for getting a message of successful completion once we get the successful execution of this python on our windows operating system will able to use it now it is about to complete and yes we are getting the message set up for successful so just click to this close option so i will close this okay now guys what i want to do okay so now we'll check once again here about the python so look at this option 3.10 which was not available previously now it's available so i will click to this 3.10 look at the screen you are getting the python available okay here if you type any available function related to the python let's say hello print function i'm going to use so it will print the output it means we have installed the python successfully this is the direct python option we are available we are having second option you can just go to the command prompt you just click to the command prompt here if you type and again if if you uh, look at uh, this so you can write here print you can give any number here to print to get down so guys over and all we have installed the python on our machine successfully stay tuned to look at the different videos on the python with akim sir thank you